All right, you guys, special video for you here. We are going to make some flash fry sashimi. Now it's not actually raw sashimi that we're gonna do here, but it will be kind of in between that. So this black drum, and I forgot to mention this in the ceviche video, this black drum was flash, or it was frozen overnight or a few nights now because black drum and just drum in general, fish in that family carry parasites and worms. So if you're gonna do a uh, non-conventional cooking method like that, you want to make sure that you kill off any potential parasites. So because of the thickness of these, um, we're going to do like that for one. And then now I'm gonna start Cutting some uh, thin slices here. And this was the first fish that I tried raw that I've caught from the ocean um, that I actually like enjoyed. So that's what gave me the idea to do this. And I'm just going to do that with uh, one of these fillets here. The other one we're going to pan sear it with some butter, garlic, lemon, and uh, what's it called? Some cilantro. Alright, so here's all of our chunks there. They're, uh, you know, it's not doesn't look like the sushi you're used to, but it'll turn out like sushi. So I'm going to go ahead and pop them in the fridge as I heat up the oil, but I'll show you guys exactly what I'm going to do with our oil here. So we also need to prep our sushi rice here. When I did this for the uh, for the nigiri ribbon fish, I didn't realize that there was a whole set of instructions here and it wasn't just like normal rice. You could, you've gotta put like rice vinegar, sugar, and I've got all that stuff here. So let's go ahead and make some authentic sushi rice as it says here. Just give our rice a nice rinse here. It says to wash it until it runs clear. You can see that water coming out there. So this is probably really important for sushi rice at least. I don't do this with normal rice. <coughs> so for every cup of rice, there's a cup of water for this. So we'll do one cup of water. All right, we'll go ahead and get the oil ready here for uh, flash frying our sushi. So we'll do some vegetable oil. And we just need enough to kind of cover all of our fish. There, we'll go ahead and get that heating up nice and hot. We want it actually like pretty hot because we're gonna pour it over the fish and leave them for like five minutes to uh, kind of cook up on the outside. So while that's heating up, I'll go ahead and prepare the garlic we're going to add to it. So we'll just peel our skin off here. And we're just going to break them before adding. Give it a nice break. So we're going to be adding quite a bit of garlic to it. And you guys may have noticed here, I've got some su sushi. I've got some soy sauce and some mirin. We're gonna make a uh, nice shoyu to go along with it. Along with the garlic, we'll throw in some red crushed pepper. And we'll do it now so that as it's heating up, it's all infusing. We'll some red crushed pepper in there. We'll add a little bit more than that. And I'll see if I have any more crushed ghost pepper. Just a little bit of crushed ghost pepper. This is from Trader Joe's here. Not a lot, because this stuff is pretty hot. All right, that's probably enough. Like a quarter twist into there. So just getting our oil piping hot there. A 
let all the garlic and uh, pepper infuse. And then we'll go ahead and pour that over our fish. And I forgot about my rice in the back. All right, we'll go ahead and make the glaze here. And our oil has finished heating up. We've burned everything in there. So those have burned, but our oil should be just fine here. So we're gonna go ahead and pour All right, so this is my first time trying. Hopefully the burn pepper and oil don't do much to our fish here. And the oil just has nice garlic and pepper flavor to it. But didn't try it with too much meat here, so we'll find out. So this is the sushi rice glaze here. It's supposed to help give an authentic flavor. It's uh, three tablespoons rice vinegar, four and a half teaspoons of sugar, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. It also calls for some seaweed, but I didn't have any here. All right, so I've kind of fished all of our meat out here. Uh, rookie mistake, I probably should have fished out the red, or the pepper, the crushed pepper here, just so it wouldn't be so hard to clean off of our fish. But hey, I'm in college, I've gotta make all these mistakes and learn how to cook myself, don't I? So let's go ahead and try a little piece here. Mmm. That's really good. That's a nice white flaky meat. Pretty much actually fully cooked, to be honest. So I'm gonna have to uh, try this out with the rice, the sushi rice that we made. That's gonna be really good, actually. I'm gonna have to try this with a lot more fish. Hmm. What else can we try this with? All right, you guys, so I've gone ahead and tried it, but we'll go ahead and do it sushi style this time, but pretty much with a spoon. So we'll spoon out some rice here. Nice and sticky. It's like a nice big chunk of meat there. Dip it in our shoyu. Oh, uh, look at that. Sushi on a spoon. Who would have thought? Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. I've never had like cooked sushi. I always get raw. But that's pretty much really good like sushi if we had some uh, seaweed here to wrap it in it would be incredible it would be just like what you get in the stores so hope you all enjoyed let's go ahead and make the black drum on the pan and sear it up in some butter looking beautiful right there <laughs> <laughs>